Hey y'all, Matt here from RetroOnly.com. Today I'm going to be talking again about the Nintendo Switch. And specifically today, I'm going to be talking about whether you can play old Nintendo games on the Switch or not. If you have a new Nintendo Switch and you're wanting to play some of those retro games that you remember or maybe want to show your friends or family or even your kids the games that you played growing up, then this video is for you as I'll explain how you can and also how you can but really shouldn't play those retro games on your Switch. And yes, there is a way where you can play them, but you really shouldn't do it that way, in my opinion. Before I hop into that, please be sure to hit the like button and then also subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out a lot and also allows other people all around the world to get their questions answered about the Switch and to see these videos as well. So we really do appreciate it when you click that like button and then subscribe. Let's go ahead and hop into whether you can play old Nintendo games on your Switch or not. It is possible to play old Nintendo games on your Switch. However, there are two basic methods that you can use to do this. One of these is a method that I prefer and that I recommend. The second one is not. So let's go into the first. The first one is through the Nintendo Switch online service. You can get Nintendo Switch online for around $2 a month if you buy it a year at a time. And that is incredibly inexpensive as it allows you to play these retro Nintendo games on your Switch while also allowing you to play online multiplayer on your Switch as well. It's essentially a paid subscription service that costs you a certain amount per month, per three months, or per year. If you buy it a year at a time, it currently costs $19.99, so a little under $2 a month for you to have access to all of those retro games. And that's personally the way that I prefer to do it on your Nintendo Switch. And I will show you all those games that you have access to using that method. However, that method does not allow you to access all the old games on the Nintendo Switch. It's only the ones that Nintendo feels like you should have access to or that they ported over and made available on the Switch. Currently, that's only NES and some SNES games. There are no games on the Nintendo Switch currently, on or on Nintendo Switch Online, I should say, currently for any of the more current game system. So not for the N64, not for the GameCube, not for the Wii, not for the Wii U or any of the other consoles that they've come out with between the SNES and today. So that does leave a little bit or a lot of games that you miss out on using this method. Now the second method that I'm going to mention is one that I would not recommend you do simply because it can lead you and will often lead you to having your Switch banned from Nintendo's online service. And that is hacking or modding your Nintendo Switch. I would never, never recommend you do this for your Switch because what you're essentially doing is you are stealing software. You are going online through these emulators and those sorts of things. You're backloading it up into your Switch. And then Nintendo finds that out, so of course they're banning you. But also, what you're doing is you are stealing those games and putting them onto your Switch. That is why I wouldn't recommend it. You're stealing it, and then you're also going to have your Switch banned. Which, if your Switch becomes banned because you've been hacking or modding it, that means not only do you not have access to Nintendo Switch Online, which means no online multiplayer at all, it also will often mean you're banned from the Nintendo eShop, which means you can no lo longer download any games to your Nintendo Switch, which is a huge advantage of the Switch. If you've watched any of my older videos, you will know that I love being able to download games to my Switch rather than having to carry around these packages and the cartridges and swap them out and everything. Downloading games to your Switch is so convenient. And if your Switch is banned, you lose access to the Nintendo eShop, which means you won't be able to download games that way. Also, often when your Switch is banned, and again, this happens when you get when you hack or mod your Switch to download these illegal games, when that happens, you will often not even be able to update your Switch, which means as the Switch comes out with more and more updates, some games require you to have the latest update, so then you have to try and backdoor an update, and it's a gigantic hassle. Personally, I just go with the first option. I would just go for the old Nintendo games that Nintendo offers on their Nintendo Switch online service. Now, that being said, let me go ahead and show you what games are available on from the NES and from the SNES on the Nintendo Switch Online service, so you can decide for yourself. Again, this is what's currently available. It's highly likely in the future that these games will change. They could add some, they could take some away. Many people are hopeful that they'll even add N64 games onto there, being the next oldest console that they haven't put on there, and that would be a great 
opportunity for many people who grew up playing the N64, myself included. But for now, it's just the NES and SNES games. Let me go ahead and show you exactly which games are included on that. So I'm inside of my Nintendo Switch here on my TV. And what you're going to do to see which games are available, if you already have the Switch, is you're simply going to go down to the Nintendo Switch Online. Right down here at the bottom, this first one on the left, and click to go into that. You're going to select which user user on your Nintendo Switch you're, you want to go into it with. And then once you're in here, then you can scroll down to NES and S Super NES or SNES and which games are included. As you can see here, there are 120 different games that are included with the Nintendo Switch Online subscription for free. All of these old Nintendo games can be played on your Switch with the subscription to Nintendo Switch Online. And again, that's a little under $2 a month if you buy it a year at a time. So let me go ahead and scroll through. These are all going to be from the newest to the oldest. So we have Kirby's Dream Land, Donkey Kong Country 3, Kirby Superstar, Magical Drop 2, Prehistoric Man, Breath of Fire 2. That one I have no idea how to pronounce. Don't fire me. Okay, comment in the description below. I'm sure many of you know how to pronounce that. Donkey Kong Country 2, Paneled Upon, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, Mario Super Pacross, Wild Guns, Kirby's Dream Course, The Ignition Factor, Wario's Woods, Smash Tennis, Donkey Kong Country, Demon's Crest, Stunt Race FX, Super Punch Out, Breath of Fire, Natsumi Championship Wrestling, Super Metroid, Joe and Mac 2, The Peacekeepers, Operation Logic Bomb, Tough, en Tough Enough, Doomsday Warrior, Poppin' Twin B, Super Mario All-Stars, Kirby's Adventure, Kirby's Adventure with the Extra Game, Star Fox, Brawl Brothers, Fire and Ice, Super Valis 4, Psycho Dream, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart Fully Souped Up, Spanky's Quest, Yoshi, Super, Super Soccer, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Nightshade, Super EDF, Caveman Ninja, Super Baseball Simulator, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Vice Project Doom, Eliminator Boat Duel, Super Tennis, NES Open Tournament Golf, F-Zero, Pilot Wings, Super Mario World, Star Fox 2. And then we're going to scroll down here. Scat, Super Cybernetic Attack Team, Star Tropics, Shadow of the Ninja, The Immortal, Dr. Mario, Dr. Mario the UFO Cover-Up, Journey to Stilius, Punch-Out, featuring Mr. Dream, Crystalis, Super Mario Bros. 3, River City Ransom, Double Dragon 2, The Revenge, Kung Fu Heroes, Super Dodgeball, Adventures of Lolo, Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden The Thrilling Climax, Tecmo Bowl, I loved that one growing up, Star Soldier, Star Soldier Certain Victory, Versus Excite Bike, Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link, Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link, Link Warrior Without Equal, Blaster Master, an additional Blaster Master, Super Mario Bros. 2, Double Dragon, City Connection, Ice Hockey, The Legend of Zelda, The Second Legend of Zelda Living the Life of Luxury, Metroid, Second Metroid, Metroid Again, Solomon's Key, Mighty Bomb Jack, Hive Game, Deviation Value, Kid Icarus, The Second Kid Icarus, Rygar, Pro Wrestling, Volleyball, Gradius, a couple more Gradius, Ghosts and Goblins, an additional one, Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers, The Lost Levels, Donkey Kong, Balloon Fight, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong 3, Twin B, Twin B, Ninja Jaja, Super Mario Brothers, Excite Bike, Ice Climber, Soccer, Tennis, Baseball, Clue Clue Land, and Wrecking Crew. And those are all of the games that are included with Nintendo Switch Online. Now, obviously, that's a giant list um, that's available, but you can find all of these on the Nintendo Switch Online tab on your Switch. You can see exactly which ones are there. You can sort by NES, by SNES, or Super Nintendo, which games you're looking for. So if you have a specific game on the NES or SNES that you want to play, you want to see if it's available, you can find it on here. And again, they do add and take away games on here at a decent interval, so it's likely this number will continue to go up in the future. It's also likely that sometime in the future they will add games from the N64 or possibly even other consoles as well. So that is every, all the old Nintendo games that you get with the Nintendo Switch Online service. I hope that this video and that list of games that I went through that are available on the Nintendo Switch Online service has been a help to you in helping you decide whether you want to even pay that monthly cost or what exactly you want to do in regards to playing your old Nintendo games on the Nintendo Switch. Again, my name is Matt. I'm from RetroOnly.com. 
Have a great rest of your day.